All right, what is going on guys and girls, Sarger B here, and uh, today we're doing a little bit of a different kind of video, in case you haven't noticed. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, the state of Destiny 2. Now, um, if you've been here a while on my channel, you've known that I've mentioned Destiny before, and I, I sort of said how I didn't, um, I don't know, I didn't enjoy playing it for YouTube because I liked to get into the game, and I liked, you know concentrating on it which is something you can't really do when recording for a youtube video but um now that the game's been out for about a month i just wanted to you know possibly review the state that the game's in and maybe open up to the future of being able to play it on youtube but uh i've never really done a video like this before and i'm kind of doing it on a fly on the fly a little bit i don't have a script written up or anything like that but uh, I figured, hey, why not try this out? I mean, it's really, it's a game that I enjoy 100%, uh, and I just feel like uh, doing some uh, topical video on it. So uh, about, well, this coming, this video is coming out a little bit late, but uh, about a month ago today, Destiny, um, well, about a, a month and three days now, uh, Destiny 2 launched on uh, consoles, Xbox, and PS4, and I think it's releasing on PC I think it released like yesterday or something like that. Um, and basically, I have a couple points to go over uh, that I'm just going to, you know, review where the game is in this state. So uh, let's go over the basics of where the game, you know, when when you first start up the game, what, how is it? Um, so the uh, going into it, it. It was uh, it was something that I feel was hyped quite a bit um, for me at least anyway because I loved the first game and then you know hearing about Destiny 2 coming out I was excited because I thought hey it'd be you know I unlike what I think most people wanted for this game to end up being which was a sequel and when you think sequel for a game you think oh man it's you know it's it's the game but revamped it's new it's fresh it's a sequel because that's kind of what in today's day and age what sequel means you know we ha we have call of duty where every single sequel i you know quote there because it not every game is a sequel but every game is there's improvements and there's new features added and some things are taken away and the two games aren't alike except for the fact that they have you know COD slapped on them, and uh, they're, you know, running gun FPS games. That's the only thing that really ties together the, you know, Call of Duty franchises, except for, you know, similar stories and continuations and stuff like that. But if you're not into the story and the campaign, you wouldn't really know that every new multiplayer game is, uh, you know, brand new. Um, I, I wasn't anticipating that when I heard about Destiny 2. I... You know, I was still actively playing Destiny when I heard Destiny 2 was going to be released. And I thought, hey, it's going to be like, it's going to be more to do in the same universe, in, you know, the same game. It's just, it's just going to be more to do. Uh, and of course, it was, you know, I wasn't expecting the exact same game. But I was still expecting it to be, you know, at its core Destiny. A couple features that tied it all together and kept it you know kept it as destiny the play style the mechanics the even just things as like the menu who would want a new menu system when the menu system in destiny uh, in the original destiny was just fine you know stuff like that i wasn't expecting it to be like destiny one on steroids or anything like that i wanted it to be you know the same game i knew and loved but also something fresh and something new and you know i feel like that's really what we got um, but there were things that were very much improved. For instance, uh, the storyline. And the storyline is definitely something that was not there in the first game. Um, in the first game, in vanilla, I don't know, you know, even if you're watching this video and aren't interested in Destiny, let me explain to you, uh, how in vanilla the storyline went, right? So, basically, once you, uh... Once you got uh, high enough a level, you could unlock the next story mission, and that sometimes came with multiple story missions being unlocked at once. So you'd get two or three or four unlocked on the map at once, and it really wouldn't tell you where you were supposed to go next, you know? 
because the the story missions were not you know they weren't labeled this is mission one this is mission two this is mission three it was like this is story level 10 you should be level 10 to play this mission really really overall confusing system and it really led to a lot of confusion because i played a couple missions that were just completely out of whack and out of order and i really didn't understand why it was like that in the original one luckily when ttk came out and uh rise of iron that was that had already been changed and revamped and it was a little bit more linear for the uh missions it told you actively what you're going to be doing next in order to you know complete the storyline in a in a linear fashion um scraping something off my microphone sorry um in destiny 2 it's not like that every single mission you get access to the next mission from beating the one before it's not you know 17 mission dots on your map at once it's not you know here's this mission and this mission i don't know which one you're going to do first but you better figure it out it, it's you completed this mission good job here's the next one with you know nice cutscenes in between and nice transitions overall it was it was very cinematic and i enjoyed it i think that was something in the campaign that needed very much improving and they improved upon it and that was great um i don't know and then i guess we're gonna move on to talking about the end game of destiny which is what uh everyone seems to be more angry about i suppose um the end game is a little well the end game is what you're seeing playing on screen right now this is me running a uh i think it's the oh shoot it's the inverted spire strike that's what i'm putting in the background right now i'm good i can remember this stuff um yeah the inverted spire is going on right now and you might notice i'm not really into it i guess is the best way to put it um i i'm you know i'm uh, you're gonna see it later on i don't think you'll see it right now i that video ended up being like 25 30 minutes long but uh, at one point in the strike i'm just riding my sparrow through parts of the mission just uh, i don't care this isn't a this isn't a bit that i need be worried about it's just you know it's like in the big fields and where the drill is it's just not don't concern yourself with the enemies get through the strike get the loot at the end sort of deal um and that's really kind of what bugs me about the end game i know other people other people are like are other people are tired with the the cycle i guess they're not tired with the cycle but it's more so they don't they're they're impatient with the cycle you know everyone by monday are is like there's nothing to do at end game anymore i've done everything i can for the week and then by tuesday they say there's too much to do you know uh <laughs> the uh i don't know it's uh it's interesting how the end game works because i'm not used to it being cyclical like this generally end game in a game especially in an open world game is meant to be i don't know long term there's supposed to be a lot on your plate after you beat the main story so that it'll take a while for you to do but here we are a month later and i've opened every region chest done every lost sector done every adventure done every strike multiple times uh like to the flash points get done by tuesday because heroic events are so easy to trigger uh cade stashes the only thing holding me back from doing cade stashes all on day one is that my glimmer count is not the best it's 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 uh it's interesting because everything's done by tuesday or wednesday or thursday because especially wednesday for me is a day off so i get like a couple hours to play and the fact that i can knock out everything after reset day in two three hours is really not the end game you want you want there to be stuff to do and unless you're creating that for yourself there really isn't any of that in destiny 2 and i really like everyone's been complaining about the end game like that like there's not a lot to do don't get me wrong there's a lot to do yeah, at the end of the strike, you, uh, I, you, I don't know if we'll make it that far in this video, but uh, I go to the tower to turn in my tokens, and I really, I really, really still want origin story. When I beat the campaign, I went nameless midnight because I was 
you know, super heavy on scout rifles during the campaign, but I'm moving more towards auto rifles now, as you're seeing in the Strike Half and D and Scathlock and even submachine guns. Um, the, um, I really want Origin Story. It's a really nice rifle, but I still have yet to get it, which is why I'm running so many strikes at this point. Um, it's, it's really, like, you can make stuff for yourself in game like this like uh for all last week i was trying to do uh ikora ray's memories or meditations so that i could get all the uh frumious armor for the hunter which is the starting armor in the game and i think i have it all i don't have it equipped because exotics and better looking armor but i have it all so there was something i you know made myself do I don't know what I'm going to do for, you know, the whole months of October and November while we're waiting for the DLC to come out, but I guess that's really hopefully a problem Bungie can fix down the line with the next DLC. You know, Endgame needs to be improved. Is it is it a deal breaker for buying the game? No. By no means is it a deal breaker for buying the game. There's still, you know, I've pumped so many hours into this game, it's not really fair from my standpoint to tell someone will you get your money's worth for this game but if you think if you think your time is worth more than spending a dollar for the six like you know like a, a dollar an hour for play time if you don't think it's worth your money then maybe you shouldn't get it but there is well easily 80 to you know 80 85 hours worth of gameplay and that's just in the first you know storyline alone if you really push yourself for it you can get that much time out of it and then end game you can get so much more out of it like that but you know if you don't if you don't think you're if that's not worth your money then no i don't think you should get it because the price tag is you know sixty dollars and it is it is something you really have to take into perspective is this game worth sixty dollars and i think it is but, like I said, I also played the first one, played all the expansions, had a hell of a time playing that game, and I enjoyed this game. I think it, it was worth it, but I can't recommend it for everyone, especially, you know, people who are more used to, to Battlefield and Call of Duty and those games. It's not for that if you don't play MMOs or RPGs, I should say, I guess. I don't know. It's a weird game, Destiny. But still, I, you know, I recommend, even if you don't want to you're not sure if you want to play destiny 2 definitely pick up destiny 1 where the game is at destiny 1 now is worth any amount of money you end up putting into it i think you can get the whole bundle probably for the price of a full game right now and it is so worth it it's it's worth it if you go and buy that one and then maybe from that point you can decide if you want to play destiny 2 or not but the thing about destiny is that you you get out of the game what you put in and that's one big point i want to you know put out to everyone who's who's complaining about the game right now you get what you put in to this game you know you're not you're not if you are someone who plays you know call of duty and halo those games for multiplayer only you you're not going to get enough out of destiny to make it worth buying for you but if you're someone who knows all that like like me, for instance, I've always been one to, as soon as a game drops, I play through the campaign, I, you know, I play through the multiplayer, but not because I want, you know, not because I want to play multiplayer with other people because I enjoy that, it's because I, you know, it adds to the storyline of the game. I, like Halo, I've read the novels, the graphic novels, I know the backstories, I've played every game, I enjoy it because it's a whole universe. The same thing with Destiny. I enjoy Destiny so much because I, you know, I'm on the Destiny lore subreddit every day, and I know all the backstories. I've, you know, grinded out hours in Destiny One trying to get all the Grimoire cards. Like it's, it's you. I put in enough into Destiny to where it returns so much to me, and I think that's really what people need to realize. You put in to destiny you know if you you have to put in enough for it to give you enough out and if you're only looking for it for a multiplayer experience or for a first person shooter you're not going to get enough out of it plain and simple and 
you know, so if you're if you're a die-hard Call of Duty multiplayer fan, no, Destiny's not for you. But if you're open to having a game that's very story-driven and something you can get a lot out of if you play the story, and if you, you know, pay attention to stuff, like, if you're willing to put in the hours of looking around the, the you know, play zones, the patrol areas, and finding all the scannables so you can get a bigger sense of the story going on around you, then it's definitely going to be a game for you. And I guess going into my last two points, I, t I have wrote down five points here, I guess. Uh, PC release, which is either yesterday or today. Uh... I'm probably not going to end up getting Destiny on PC just because I've put in so much time on Xbox and, well, I mean, everyone I know who plays video games are really on Xbox and, like, I don't play Destiny very much with other people, but if anyone else I know ever gets it, I mean, I guess I'll play with them there, so I'm probably not going to get PC right now, maybe in the future, maybe next year or something like that, but, uh, not right this second. And then, uh, the future for Destiny going on, um... I'm really looking forward to the DLC that's coming out in uh, December. You know, it's going to be a big DLC. Hopefully, here's what I hope, you know, Bungie, Bungo, please. I hope you've learned this, that, yeah, kit bashing and reusing assets from previous, you know, from vanilla game parts to create DLCs will save you a lot of time and make sure that you can get dlc's out in a three-month period like activision is currently making you do under contract but i hope you learn from the taken king that that's not what people want people want new patrol zones people want new weapons new story stuff that expands the game and is not just mindless gameplay people want something that adds to the universe did that with the taken king added in the dreadnought added in the books of sorrow added in so much stuff that everyone was asking for and that's what we needed not not another dark below and hopefully that's what this next uh dlc is going to be because everyone's saying it's going to add mercury as a patrol zone and it's going to have a whole bunch of more story so i'm hoping bungie learned um if they didn't well i mean Maybe it is time to throw in the towel with the game and not play it as much as I do. But I still have high hopes going into the future of this game. Uh, if anyone's still hesitant on picking it up now, I'd say wait for December. See what people are saying about it then. Then maybe pick it up. Christmas. Ooh, Christmas sale or something like that. I think I'm about to get the hiccups, which sucks. Um, yeah, other than that, though, I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video i was kind of different no webcam gameplay in the background and it's a bit strange but uh who knows maybe i'll do more of these videos going into the future maybe i'll become a lore master like by for uh mylan games yeah that that'd be the day um if you guys enjoyed make sure to uh leave a like comment subscribe do all those wonderful youtube things and uh yeah i guess i will be seeing you all in the next video